Hi, welcome back to Georgia Nesting. My name is Crystal. If you're new here, this is just a digital diary. Today, I just finished up this morning, actually. I just finished up at my 39-week appointment. Of course, I had to get myself a little treat. It's an ice caramel latte. And basically, there's no real update as far, I mean, my cervix is shortening. I guess she said it's like 90% shortened, which is a good thing, but I'm not dilated or anything. So moving into next week, if there's still no progress with my cervix, they're gonna do a small procedure. I forgot the name of it. That will basically help clear the mucus plug and all of that. No real big updates as far as the pregnancy. Um, it is time for baby boy to be here though. Uh, my doctor recommended that I should go ahead and start doing some exercises or practices that will help get contractions started actually. So she recommended things like walking or bouncing on an exercise ball. Um, apparently maybe possibly a foot massage. <laughs> so I guess there's certain like pressure points that may help activate um, <laughs> contractions. I mean, I'll sit for a foot massage. But yeah, that's my update so far. For the rest of today, I think I'm going to go ahead. I have some work that needs to be done in the kitchen as far as making space for baby's bottles, bottle warmer and all of that. So I will see you all back at the house. I had a little bit of business to take care of because I was summoned for jury duty. And apparently it's like the kind where you can't get out of it unless you have like a exemption. So I had to get a form, an affidavit for my doctor to sign because I'll be probably two to three weeks postpartum once that summons date comes up. But the letter in the mail was just so, I thought it was so dramatic. It made me laugh. It was like, you are hereby summoned and commanded setting all business aside to whatever, whatever. But uh, I was able to call and they sent me a form to get completed by my doctor. And that should be taken care of, hopefully, by next week because I think I'd have to appear for the first time August, August 12th or something like that. So anyway, I'm back home. I've got my... Yesterday, was it yesterday? It was either yesterday or the day before I ordered the um, bottle sanitizer and warmer or sanitizer, dryer, whatever you call it here that I'll be opening up in a little bit. I was able to find a good deal on Amazon on Prime Day, so that's good. However, I'm not opening that up right away. I need to do a little bit of cleaning in the kitchen before I start organizing. As you can see, I got a little bit of dishes to wash and then this is some of the stuff I'll be putting away in the cabinets and I'm trying to make space I'm gonna try to make some space in these cabinets so I have a lot of mugs and tumblers and things that I could honestly just throw away not throw away I won't throw them away but I'll probably donate them somehow get rid of a lot of them especially the ones that I don't use and then the things like the coffee mugs so like I have a lot of them are the dishwasher right now too so I have like coffee mugs here a few there those I would actually just I'm thinking of redoing my coffee bar not today soon we dismantled it when we set up for my baby shower. And so it's just kind of been sitting there undone. But here it is. So I'll probably just find a way to store the mugs in one of these drawers when I get the coffee tea station set back up.
scrubbing my counters, wiping them down, spraying them, doing all the things, and it is bothering me so much. And this is something we've had an issue with for years, and it's getting on my nerves. I need help. <laughs> we have these white countertops. I do not know the material, and they stain. I have tried vinegar, baking soda, lemon, natural cleaners, artificial cleaners, Lysol, bleach. I've tried it and they continue to stain. So I need advice if anyone has any suggestions for how to get rid of these stains. This is what I'm looking at. So the countertops are white, but we've got stains like this. That won't go away. And they're kind of just there and it's so, it just like the counters never look clean. We're not on the market for replacing countertops anytime soon. <laughs> so if anyone has suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you. All right, so we've got the kitchen looking in much better condition. Thank the Lord. Um, I myself had to get a little refreshed. I went ahead and took a nap, took a shower, got changed and just freshened up a bit. Here's the space we're working with now though. So I'm going to get started on these suckers. And I'm going to try not to freak out. <laughs> I mean, the amount of mugs and tumblers and glasses for just two people. And then this whole box is full. I filled this entire box with tumblers and um, mugs, not mugs, tumblers and thermoses. So I'm gonna go ahead. What I'm gonna do is I have this drawer liner. I'm gonna take that and fill a couple of these drawers with the mugs and the tumblers and all that so that those can be out of the way and we can make more use of our space in the kitchen.
is able to clear a shelf for the baby's things. I don't know if it'll be enough, but I'm also gonna clear, I'll show you. So we have this shelf cleared for the baby's things, but I'm also gonna clear this counter space area and that corner is just gonna be designated for baby bottles and all those things. That was a little more complicated than I thought it was gonna be. Um, specifically taking apart the bottles, I didn't realize how many pieces were involved with these Dr. Brown's bottles. So that's actually gonna be a learning curve for me. Right now we have the sanitizer started. It's bubbling, making a noise, steaming, doing whatever it's doing. So I guess we will find out how that um, works later on, but for now, this is just gonna be the place for it right here. The countertop corner, and then I'll probably have to move those vases as well. I'll try to keep the lamp here because I need the lighting, but we'll also get over here the, um, the bottle drying racks. Um, and then we'll get the, <laughs> rest of the baby's dishes placed up here in this cabinet. Okay, so it looks like I've pretty much got everything that we have <laughs> set up. I don't know if I'll need more. It'll probably be a see as we go type of deal because Right now, I don't want to collect anything else. I feel like we already have a lot. Plus, I plan on breastfeeding and pumping, so <sighs> mostly breastfeeding and some pumping. So we'll see as far as like bottle storage goes, what is necessary or, or what will we what we will need to uh, meet our needs. But that is all I have for today. I will see you guys in my next video. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. And let me know if I'm missing any essentials. I feel like I have most of the essentials as far as like feeding and all that. I didn't even get my pump out. I need to look at my pump because I don't even know how to use it. So I'll have to look at that too. But let me know in the comments, mamas of infants and young babies. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.